Today I'm going to be uh, power cording this Logitech G502 using this uh, cord here. At the end of the video I'll have a before and after uh, comparing the two cords a little bit. Okay, so to start we need to take off these feet which will uh, reveal some hidden screws under them. Uh, if you want to reuse these feet after this, then you can use a hairdryer or heat gun or something to heat these up uh, so you don't damage them when you're taking them off so you can put them back on. But I'm just going to be replacing them so I don't need to do that. So first we just uh, have something sharp to get under these and take them off. Okay, so there's no screw under that one. There's not a screw under every one, but I'm just going to take them all off because I'm replacing them all. And there's one more under this one as well. Two under this. Okay, so if you were to be reusing them, you don't need to take this one off. Just this one, this one, and this one with this two in here. Okay, so now I'm going to use this screwdriver to uh, under the screws. Okay, so I got the four uh, screws out. Next, take off this bottom bit. And then this, the top and the bottom bit should come apart. Okay, so I got the pieces apart. When doing this, you'll, the most difficult part is this side. Around here, this gets a bit hard to do under here, but the rest of it comes off quite easily. Also, when pulling it off, be careful of, make sure you go slow, because this piece here uh, has this connector here, which is goes in there, and if you pull too fast, that can rip off. Okay, so this connector will be in this white thing, and then using something flat, you have to, this bit here, you have to pull it up and then the, connect the ribbon connector will come out and the same thing on this back one here so you have to pull that up and that will come out there okay so then we'll get to the next step okay so once these two are unplugged next we're going to take the mouse wheel off so first this this little pin here comes out this one Also, if you want, you can take this board out for now, just in case so you don't break it. Okay, so this pin came out. Make sure you set this aside and don't lose it. Now this mouse is the wheel is free to come off, but be careful because under the here yeah, is two springs, and you don't want to lose it. So make sure maybe you just pull off slowly and cover it with your hand. So I'm blocking the view, but because they will spring out. Okay, so yeah, okay, so now I can set the mouse wheel aside as well. And it's probably hard to see, but there's two springs here. Also set them aside. Okay, and then we'll get into the next step, which is unscrewing this board with these um, screws here. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, unscrew these, this, this, uh, this, this, and this one back here. So these five. And these two here will allow you to pull this off. Okay. And then you can pull this piece here off. And again set that stuff aside. Now we're going to get to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to lift this whole, butt, whole bit. Be careful because the wires are still connected here. And also it's down here. Then you can lift up this piece. 
it's clear plastic piece here. It's not uh, no screws, just held on by on here. So set that aside. Then gently pull out the rest of the wire. Okay, so now the wire's out. Now we can unplug the old wire. Okay, so now the old wire's off and we're gonna plug the new one in. Make sure that's in properly. Okay, and now we're gonna mount it back on the board back on the base and then the next step we're going to make sure that the wire goes in the right spot and then we're going to heat, uh, heat up this heat shrink to make sure it, it stays like that okay so we're going to heat up this piece here you want to make sure that it's sort of just over the edge of that like that and maybe like there I'll pull that back a little bit more I'll give that a little bit of room Okay, so that bit's on. Now we can try to put it on here. This also, the mouse also has to, the cord also has to go uh, in here. There's a like a path that you can, that you have to put it in. There's also one other piece of heat shrink, but that'll go on in a minute. Okay, so I have the heat shrink on the end now. So now I'm going to start uh, reassembling it. Now we're going to put in the screws. We actually have to put on this clear. This clear thing first. And that goes underneath. Okay, so I got that back on. So now we can continue screwing everything down. I'm just gonna make sure this, this is in the right spot again. Okay. So pretty much what we do now is just the reverse of everything that we did before. This piece. Okay, so this goes on this way. So the side with the screws is where is the front of the mouse. So now I think we can put the mouse wheel back on. But remember when we took the mouse wheel off, there were there two screws uh, in the front in these two holes. So we're gonna put them back in first. Just gonna make sure we don't lose them either. Okay. So So try not to stretch or like squash the springs. I don't know if it affects a mouse, but it might. Okay, so then this goes in. I think this way. Yep. And then we put the pin in.
that goes with this this boot facing downwards. Now that that's in, the wheel is locked in place. Just gonna make sure it clicks some stuff. Yeah, so then we can plug this one. So you have to make sure that this is pulled up. And then this goes in. You hear a click and then you can push it down. Then if you try to wiggle it, it won't move. Now we have to get this one that we took off earlier. You can leave this in if you want, but I took it off just to make sure I didn't damage it. And that slides in over here. And then you do the same thing. So you make sure that the this white thing here is pulled up. Yep. And that clicks in. Yep. Now I'm gonna plug this in just to see. That's working before I put the top back on because all the electronics are together. So at this point, it should turn on. I think. Okay. So we must have done it right because this is coming on now. So yeah, you may want to check that before you uh, put the top casing back on. So we can do that now. Just unplug it. Okay, so make sure it goes in the right way. Probably won't go in any other way, but just to make sure, yep. Then turn it upside down. Make sure you save the screws from before. And then screw it all back in. Okay, so all the screws are back in, so now we're going to put the feet on. So I think we just press them into place. This one goes over here. Just press down hard on them. This one might go on the bottom bit. So put that on. So this one goes over here. over here, go back, I think you probably could heat this up with a hairdryer or something if you wanted to, or a heat gun, but I don't think that affects it too much. This one as well, but I'm not sure where this one goes. Oh, okay, so these ones go on this two things here. I didn't remove them yet, so I'm going to quickly remove them now. Okay, so they're removed. Now put the new ones on. Okay, so now that's all on, and that's it. So now we're going to test it.
I'm going to show you first we're going to test like, how much it slides. We did it with the other mouse and it went about half the table, so now we'll do this one. Okay, so it goes full table, then a little bit more. Easily makes the whole distance. So we have the, the new feet and the cable, which are already a lot uh, better now it's sliding. Next, do this. As you can see, the cable is super flexible, so it just bends when you bring it the mouse. The other one, when you did this, I mean, you would have just seen it, but when you did this, it sort of pushed the mouse back. Um, And you can see it sort of flexing as it moves, whereas the other one just kept shape the whole time. So. You can see obviously this one's a lot more flexible, and I guess that's all about all for this video. If you want me to do any more uh, reviews, you have any more tests that you want me to do of it, then just comment it down below. And yeah.